Razer's always got experimental gaming tech, and at CES in Las Vegas this year, first time back in a while, they also have a lot of stuff. But it really runs the gamut. You've got a gaming tablet, you've got 3D sound bars, a webcam, new laptops, uh, VR accessories, and a vibrating sound headrest. So let's get into them. The Razer Edge is coming out really soon, January 26th, and it's part of a partnership with Qualcomm. It's the first gaming handheld that has their new G3X chip, which I'm curious to try out. That was announced last year. But the Razer Edge, the name, has been around before. I reviewed a Razer Edge tablet way back in 2013 that was way before the Nintendo Switch and was a modular, bigger screen tablet. Now this is a 6.8 inch AMOLED display handheld device. And when you detach the controllers, it really looks like a very large smartphone. And that's kind of like a more purpose-built uh, larger phone tablet type thing. And it's not meant to be used as a phone. It's really a, a dedicated thing. I played a few games on it. It's meant to work particularly well with game streaming, both with Xbox Game Pass and cloud gaming, and also with Steam. And I didn't get a chance to check that part out. There's also a 5G version that's gonna be available exclusively with Verizon. The Wi-Fi only one is $400, so we'll be reviewing it soon. Razer's getting into VR accessories, and it's a head strap, which doesn't sound all that exciting, but I'm interested in the partnership. Razer is making this for the Quest 2, and I got a chance to try it on, and it was pretty comfortable. It felt like, almost like a baseball cap, and it was a softer, more flexible fit than the included Quest 2 strap. Also what's interesting is the partnership, which is with ResMed. ResMed makes CPAPs. I wear a ResMed CPAP, and this is the first time that they've had a partnership with them. Razer has also made wearables before for the face. This might be a sign that they're trying to take that more seriously and think about more breathable and safe and comfortable devices going forward. This is also a continuing partnership with Meta, so you might imagine what else will they make? Maybe controllers or battery packs? The Quest 3 is coming out later this year, so I'm super curious. Razer's 3D soundbar, the Leviathan V2 Pro, is a PC bar that's designed to cast 3D sound around you by tracking your face with a camera to position the exact place where you get your sound field. Now, I've seen a couple of devices at this year's CES that have been trying to do face tracking and sort of ambient awareness of where you are. This one is really focused on trying to create that perfect little 3D sphere for your listening. You could do stereo sound, you could also do sort of a headphone simulation or a larger space simulation. I got to listen to this for only only a few moments, it sounded good, but I'm curious how 3D it'll feel when you move your head around and how much it will track you. I don't usually care about webcams, but Razer's webcam actually excited me. The Razer Keo Pro Ultra looks like a gaming streamer's dream. It's a very large lens. It looks like it came off an SLR camera. It's a Sony StarViz 2 sensor on there, and it's 4K. It can track your face. Um, by looking at your eyes and your mouth and keep autofocus going. And it has bokeh and it also has an ability to auto adjust lighting to maximize details. Now, you know, I just saw this on a laptop and it looked great. It actually looked like the type of video that we'd be shooting right now, but in a webcam. And uh, I, was, I was pretty impressed. It also has a manual shutter on the top so you can just turn off the camera completely and not worry if you're still rolling. There's also a lens cap. I also got a quick look at the Razer Blade 18 and the Razer Blade 16, the new generations of their gaming laptops. Razer's never made an 18 inch laptop before, so the Blade 18 is a new territory for them. And it's being focused at being a more powerful desktop replacement. The processors and the graphics in there are a step above. The one that got my eye though was the 16 because of its display. It's a really vibrant mini LED display that, you know, next to the 18 really stood out. And uh, it actually has two different modes. One is 120 hertz, which shows in full resolution. And it also will go up to 240, but doing that in full HD. But I want that display. I mean, heck, I'd want it on the 18 inch, but that's not happening right now. The final thing that Razer has is Project Carol. There's always a project and it's this vibrating, headrest for a chair that has near field speakers to provide a channel of sound that's right near you. And that's something I didn't get to try in Razer's hotel room suite, but I'll get a chance to look at on the show floor. I mean, 
it's a vibrating sound headrest. It's not as weird and wild as other stuff that Razer has had, but if it worked really well and you could just pop it on the back of an existing desk chair and sounded good and was priced well, who knows? But hey, it's CES, that's what this is all about. Anyway, that's the stuff that I got to see here and there's gonna be a whole lot more, so thanks for watching.